Welcome to Ignite Purpose's weekly leadership tip. These weekly videos are meant to ignite God's purpose to live, love, and lead like Jesus. Are you getting excited about God's purpose for your life? Is he giving you some vision? Are you ready to start mapping out some SMART goals? You may be asking, what are SMART goals? I guess I assume people knew what they actually are. SMART is actually an acronym for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Realistic, and Time-Bound. While this model works well in companies, it can be a little bit lacking of the faith-based component. Today I want to touch on the first two letters of SMART goals from a more godly perspective. S still means specific, but as I've continued to encourage you, specifically ask God for direction when you're in prayer. For goals to be successfully set, they need to be distinct and well-defined. Praying can help you define your path. Vague goals aren't effective because they lack direction. Keep in mind that goals are designed to help show you the way with God's guidance. It's nice to know that we're not alone in the process. As Christians, we are blessed with the access to the guidance and support of the greatest power in the universe, and that is the Holy Spirit. So now use that Holy Spirit. The second letter is M, which usually means measurable. But in this case, I want it to be meaningful. By starting the SMART goal process in prayer, there's much greater likelihood that you will be truly creating meaningful and glorifying goals that line up with God's purpose for your life. If they're not, they're probably not goals worth setting. So commit your goals to the Lord and trust Him. And that leads me to my favorite verse in the Bible, Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him and He will make your path straight. So what do you do with this for this week? Take some time to pray to God and ask Him to help you set specific and meaningful goals to accomplish His purpose for your life. If you haven't already, start writing those goals out as God puts them in your heart. Make sure those goals line up with God's Word and that they're meaningful to Him and to you so you can ignite God's purpose as you live, love, and lead like Jesus. Have a blessed week.